today we will be talking about force first we will give over the brief overview how to resolve the force problems and then I will give you two three questions I will explain to you how to do those two questions so first how to solve the force problems the few steps if we follow can give us results in a very easy way first we have to draw a nice diagram of the situation and show all the forces acting on the system with vectors like suppose your system carry three boxes then we have to show all the forces acting on those three boxes external forces acting on these shows now second thing draw the feed diagrams of each body in the system show all the forces acting on nice arrows and vectors in a system we may have two or three bodies now take each body separately and draw a feed body diagram a feed body diagram is a diagram where we show a single body and show all the forces acting on it so here in second step we need to draw a free body diagram for each body in system and show all the forces with nice arrows and vectors why we are saying nice arrows and vectors because we need to know the directions very clearly if we don't know the directions since force is a vector quantity it won't work third now we have to choose a suitable x y coordinate system and resolve all the forces in x and y directions now we know that in a body forces may be acting in different directions to resolve the force we need to resolve the vectors in x and y components so here again we need to choose a suitable x y coordinate system resolve the forces in x and y direction then we have can apply newton's second law f is equal to ma that is force is equal to mass into acceleration equation separately to x and y component now once we know all these things now we need to check the question what things are known to us and what things are known to us and once we know the known values and unknown issues we need to solve the uh, equations which we form from f is equal to a way in our steps to reach at the unknown values always keep in mind the number of equations should always equal to number of unknowns so that is if you are if you have three unknowns you must have three equations to resolve the equation otherwise you won't be able to resolve the equations unit could be helpful in some cases to check the accuracy of your equation you can always do unit check on both sides of the equation it should be same across the sides now it's clear how to solve them now let's go over two problems of force so now first problem is that consider a three body system shown in figure below we have a three body system a b c which are very which are side by side their masses are m1 m2 m3 in a force external force f is acting on mass a now we need to find the acceleration of each object and we need to find the contact force between all the objects now we have to remember the steps which I have teach, that taught you earlier so let's go over them step one since uh, first we have to uh, first we, we know that the acceleration of the three bodies will be same that is equal to a because all the bodies will be moving same directions and with same motion so let acceleration will be so so let's a be the acceleration of the system second step let there will be uh, some contact force between a and b which is responsible for movement of b and again there will be some contact force between b and c which will be responsible for the motion of c so let f be the contact force between a and b and F to be the contact force between B and C. Now, our third step. Let's draw free. Our second step. Sorry, let's draw free body diagram of each of the three bodies. So, for body A, the force acting is F, the external force acting on the body, and F1 is the contact force. Now, why I have shown like this direction? According to Newton's third law, all forces act in pairs in opposite direction. So, when A exert in contact force F1 on point on mass in reaction uh, B also act in co uh, contact force A in opposite direction so F1 is the contact force and it will be acting in this direction so we know the free body diagram of A now let's go to free body diagram of body B again here F here F1 only the contact force acting from A side and again F2 is the contact force acting on body C side from body C 
the only force acting is the contact force acting on due to B so now we are clear over the free body diagonals to all the three bodies now our third step would be to use Newton's law of equations to reach other equations so let's go over them so for a project object A we the force F is acting in this direction and F1 is acting in the opposite direction. So F1 F minus M1 is equal to M1A. So this is our first equations. Now for body B we can say F1 minus F2 is equal to M2A. Since both the contact forces are acting in the opposite direction, we have F1 minus F2 is equal to M2A. Now body C we have just contact force F2 acting, so F2 is equal to M2. So here you can see that they are three unknowns f1 f2 and a we have three equations so now these equations can be solved mathematically and we arrive at this solution acceleration a is equal to f divided by m1 m2 plus m3 so acceleration depends on all the three masses and external force now substituting this value in 1 and 3 we get external uh, contact force f1 as m2 plus m3 F divided by M1 plus M2 plus M3. Similarly, the contact force F2, M3F upon M1, M2. So we saw from this problem that if we follow the steps, the problems become quite easy and become easy, uh, easy to resolve. And we have to always remember that we should have same number of equations as the number of unknowns. Now let's go to second problem. A body of mass M moves along x axis such that at time t its position is given by x t 84 minus b t k bar q plus c t. Here we have a body which is moving in x directions and at time t its position is given by this. In these types of equations, since this is a function type equation, continuous equation, we, we have to use differential calculations in resolving these uh, questions. So, now we know that velocity and friction and continuous fiber using the first and second direction. So let's calculate velocity and differential. Differential equation xt we get 3at cube minus 3bt square plus c. Now second time differential rate we get 9at square minus 6bt. So now second differentiation is what acceleration. Now according to Newton's law, force is given by f is equal to ma. So f is equal to m into a. Putting these value we get 3mt. Uh, bracket 3t minus 2v so this is quite a simple problem but if you know the concepts if you know the formulas it becomes quite easy